Guys, welcome back. It is Friday. Now for most people, Fridays are their favorite day of the week. It means for the next two days, they don't have to take any orders from their boss for the next two days. They don't have to be around those coworkers that irritate the heck out of them. But for me, actually, Friday is my least favorite day of the week because it means that for the next two days, the markets are closed and the fun has to stop. And for those of you who are active in the markets, you know exactly what I mean. Guys, I'm going to give you a quick run through of what took place this week and give you guys a heads up of how to prepare yourself ahead of next week's market open so that you're in the right frame of mind and you're positioning yourself where you need to be correctly with the right information, all right? So check it out. This was a trade I gave you guys a midweek update on. This was one that I posted over at the Patreon at the beginning of the week. Me and the guys got into this one and closed out this trade about 24 hours ago for almost a 90% return, right? So again, another multi four figure profit here on this trade. And this is the type of level I'm trying to get you guys to where you are making 50, 60, 100% on a couple of trades throughout the week. It's an absolute game changer for you, right? This is the type of position I wanna put you guys in. As a matter of fact, over on the Patreon, I am dropping a breakdown video going through the reason why I got into the trade and everything like that uh, over the weekend, okay? So make sure if you're in the Patreon, make sure you check out that video. Fun fact, the strategy that I used for this trade a mentor taught me this strategy back in 2018. So that same strategy, that same setup that worked in 2018 still works six years later here in 2024. And that's the beauty of it, right? If you learn these setups, if you learn these systems and strategies, they'll just play out over and over again and they will last literally decades, guys. So. Uh, I'm in another trade at the moment. Again, another one I posted over at the Patreon. That one's just cooking right now. It's marinated. I'll give you guys an update on that trade next week when things really materialize and markets get going and prices start to get to moving, all right? Guys, before I head out for the weekend, you already know I can't leave you without giving you some value. So. In preparation for next week, there is a saying, and it goes like this. The markets can remain irrational for longer than you can remain solvent. This statement will completely change the way that you look at the markets. What it basically means is that the markets can remain crazy for a lot longer than you expect. Or to put it another way, the markets can do what you are not expecting for a lot longer than you originally thought. The reason why I say this is because in a time like this where we have seen some good momentum in the markets, we have seen the markets go ahead and print a new all-time high literally like two days ago, it's very easy to get a gauge and an understanding of what the rest of the market Okay, the everyday person is thinking and doing. So check this out. Here you've got IG, which is a broker that holds hundreds of thousands of client accounts. 71% of their, of, their, of their clients are shorting the market. 71% of their clients are expecting the market to reverse. But remember what I just taught you guys, the markets can remain irrational for a lot longer than you can remain solvent. In times like this, where markets are pushing higher, in times like this where we have some good momentum, everybody wants to try to catch the top, everybody wants to try and catch that reversal trade. This is something you never wanna do. You never wanna try and catch a reversal. There'll be times to short the market and the market will give you clear signals, clear indications that it's time to go short. But in a time like this, it is most definitely not the time to go short. And that's why I wanna put you guys in the right position 
for next week and not following 71%, but are shorting the market and are just approaching it the wrong way. Okay, guys, I'm, I am a veteran in this game. Can you not see the gray hairs on my head? <laughs> I've seen a lot of things in these markets. I've seen multiple bull runs. I've seen multiple bear markets. What you want to understand about this market is it's driven by a lot of different factors, right? A lot of different variables we've got going on that is giving it support, it's giving it strength, and is going to lead to further prices and not much room for shorts to make money. I can reel them off for you guys. One being, we've got inflation under control. Fed's going to reduce interest rates very soon. That's going to give a push to the market. That's going to act as a tailwind. You've got crazy levels of buybacks, okay? Just with a couple of these massive tech stocks alone, there's hundreds of billions of stock that they are going to buy. So think about how those markets increase. Well, capital has to come in, money has to come in to push prices higher. So you've got record levels of buybacks. You've got the market printing several all-time highs in the same year. When you get that happening, it means that you've got phenomenal momentum going on. It means that you've got a lot of um, room for upside. It means you've got a lot of support in the market. We have very good corporate earnings. We have, as I told you guys in the last one, we have market broadening. So the rest of the market is now participating with the move. It's not just the AI plays and the tech stocks that's creating uh, all-time highs in the market. It's the other sectors now. You've got utilities, you've got healthcare, you've got financials. They're all contributing. So there isn't gonna be much room to make money on shorts in this market. The way to make money in this market is long trades. But it's very clear to see what the majority of the market, the everyday person wants to do, and that is short the market. I wanna put you guys in a position where you have the information, the right information and the right outlook to make the right trades, okay? And that is going long, that isn't going short. So don't follow those who are trying to catch a top and get into reversal trades. That's not what you want to do, okay? The market has room to go higher. And that is what you should be focusing on next week. That's not to say the market can't drop a little bit, but trying to make money on shorts is like squeezing blood out of a stone, okay? As a matter of fact, let's go back to the chart. If the market is to pull back, and we're looking at the S&P, the level at which the maximum in the short term it can go is like 52.53, right? 52.53. So on the SPY, that's like 525. That's it. Very, very small amount. As a matter of fact, if it gets to that level, that's when you want to flip the script and you actually want to go long. You want to get into those cool positions. Guys, this is, this is the second half of the year is going to be an absolute gift for option traders. And that's why I want to get you guys in a position where you are comfortable trading options, but you're trading options frequently to take advantage of market dynamics and just gifts that are given to us like they are right now. Okay, so guys, that's the heads up ahead of next week. That's what you want to take a look at. Let me just share this with you guys. This is a question, a good question from one of the members over at the Patreon. Clayton says, I just joined the Patreon, a bit of background on me. I work in education full time. My hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. normally. Outside of that, I've got a little one at home. Safe to say my hands are full. Can I trade with this schedule? Now what I've noticed with a lot of people is they have a lot of limiting beliefs that they've placed upon themselves that holds them back from getting active in the markets. So one could be education. So people feel like they're not, educated on the markets. They don't know anything about it. They didn't study at school. They don't have friends who are in it. That shouldn't, that shouldn't be of any concern whatsoever. The markets are a lot simpler than you may think. Second one is time, all right? The majority of people in this world are busy, right? Whether it's work, family, relationships, combination of all three. Again, that shouldn't hold you back as well. When I started off, I was trading heavy, like everyone, like in and out of trades, loads of trades. Over the years, 
of being able to understand that that's not the best approach. All you need is one or two trades a week to completely change your life. That's all you need. That's not much at all. And it only takes 10 seconds to get into a trade. How I've built trading into my life is that I want to spend minimal time on the charts. I want to spend minimal time executing and exiting trades just a, just the least amount of time to keep it as efficient as possible. So as a matter of fact, with me, most of my trades that I enter into are actually at the end of the day. That means that I don't even need to look at the markets during the day. There's no need. It's just the end of the day, enter into a position, day after, day after that, or within the next seven days, I'll be out of that trade. That's how I do it. That's how I've been doing it for years. So it's just super, super easy to just integrate into whatever I'm doing. So whether you're working 12 hours a day and got tons of home responsibilities and whatever the case may be, it's something that's very, very easy to integrate into your lifestyle because it only takes 10 seconds to get into a trade and literally takes two seconds to exit that trade. It's very, very easy, right? So don't let any of these limiting beliefs whether it's your education, whether it's your responsibilities or anything like that, stop you from getting the bag that you deserve from the markets week in, week out, all right? Guys, that's the video for today. Do drop me down some comments below and I'll catch you guys on the next video.